Hello, and welcome to another WWE 2K23 birthday championship match. And here's the birthday girl. Well, kind of. Uh, let me explain. It was actually Bianca Belair's birthday on the 9th of April. Uh, however, I'm a little bit behind on my uploads on this, uh, on this series. So, yeah, we're catching up. But within canon, this match is taking place on the 9th of April. Um, of course, Bianca already carrying that Raw Women's Championship. Looking to add more gold to her impressive resume. I mean, held that title for a long time now. And uh, as is traditional, the celebrator of their birthday, i.e. the birthday girl in the example of this video, chooses the arena in which the match takes place. Bianca's chosen the mix Mixed Match Challenge arena, not due to any real experience there, but because, you know, she's got an obvious mixed tag team match partner to accompany her and try and help her to win. This title. And sometimes throughout this this uh, series, I've questioned just how motivated the mixed tag partners uh, might be in terms of helping a win for no direct reward for them. I think Montez Ford might be pretty reliable here for Bianca Belair. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. He looks excited, doesn't he? He looks very excited. Get out of the way, ref. Get in amongst those announce tables. Where's Bianca? She's vanished. She's properly vanished, hasn't she? Where is she? But yes, husband and wife teaming up and Bianca choosing the Mixed Match Challenge Arena to emphasize the advantage in teamwork and knowledge of each other. Oh, Bianca's there now. Etc, etc, that these two uh, most likely have. So, the champion's going to enter last. Well, first, let's see who he's picked as his partner. Or who's volunteered, depending on how it's gone down. Okay, I think this might be a volunteer. The number one contender at the time of recording this for Bianca Belair's Raw Women's Championship. Now, I will say, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think EO Sky was number one contender when this match was supposed to happen. So this could have gone down very differently had I not been behind on my uh, recording for this series. But, here we are. And EO Sky looking to uh, get one up on the Raw Women's Champion ahead of the inevitable clash for that championship by preventing her from adding the birthday championship to her collection. Will she be successful though? One could argue another mixed tag partner who's feeling quite motivated to uh, pick up the win here. For, for her own reasons. I'm sure EO Sky doesn't care one iota whether this man... There we go. That was almost on cue. <laughs> Retains his title. But stopping Bianca Belair winning it, that's a different matter. I'm sure she's quite excited at that prospect. So Arton coming off a successful retention in real life earlier today. In canon, that defense was one, two, three, four days ago now. And it was his first defense. He's looking to get a second defense. I think the first champion to get two defenses if he's successful here today. Well, let me just check that real quick. So yeah, the first champion, no successful defenses. Second champion, one successful defense. Third champion, one. 
one successful defense. Next champion, no successful defense. So yeah, no one has defended this title twice yet. Randy Orton's going to be looking to change that. But he's up against it here. Like, Eel Sky is a great partner uh, to have in a mixed tag match. And she's motivated to take down Bianca Belair. But just look at the team synergy on the other side of the ring. Look at it. Married couple. How do you compete with that? Anyway, the lady's going to start. The challenger for once in recent memory, Bianca Belair. And helping to defend the championship, Eel Sky. So a bit of a role reversal from when they inevitably meet for the Raw Women's Championship. And Eel tags out, having floored Bianca Belair. Sent her a message. Oh, now Montez Ford beats Randy Orton to the punch. Almost literally. It was more of a clothesline. Oh, but a leaping clothesline took Orton down. And then, oh, a leaping DDT. But then he got a bit cocky and did like a handspring. Oh, my God. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> what in tarnation was that? There's Bella to back suplex by Montez Ford. Orton on the apron, and Ford knocks him off the apron. Now, Randy Orton does have champion's advantage, so tagging out there so that Randy Orton couldn't uh, defend by losing by a countout. Good move by Montez Ford. I don't think Orton's in the business of doing that. Um, but still, protecting themselves from that possibility, not a bad move. However, Bianca, having some difficulty with EL Sky in this match so far. Does not look good for her chances of winning the birthday championship, and also... Maybe the Raw Women's Championship in jeopardy. Two. I mean, not in this match, but I mean, you know, looking forward. Eel Sky really looking good here in the early days, but talking too much trash. And Bianca Bella loves a bit of trash talk, but once the bell rings, it's all business. Clothesline by Belair. And Orton breaks it up by distracting the ref. Bianca blows Eo a kiss, and that was a big mistake. Because she, she kissed the bottom of both her boots as they... Got drop kicked into her. Oh. Just a double foot stomp onto the arm by Eel Sky. See her position herself between Belair and Ford there? Good move. Good move, honestly. Prevent that tag being made for as long as you can. Oh, or, or just make the tag yourself. I guess there's something to be said for, you know, them getting to make the decision. But once again... Doesn't really pay off. I'd say... He, oh. <laughs> that was a mistake and Orton loving it. Um, oh, DDT. I'd say Eel Sky's had Belair's number in this match. But I'd also say Montez Ford has kind of had the upper hand over Orton in this match as well. Now the women back in. And just what I was saying there. Eel Sky back in control. It's like Orton should want the women in and Belair should want the men in. Like... Obviously, neither is wired like that. They'll both want to just turn around the deficit and actually uh, gain the upper hand. Dragon suplex. Bridge. One. Two. Ooh. Two count. Yeah, like, Bianca Belair won't be like, yeah, Eos guy's got my number. Montez, get in there. She'll be more likely to stay in there and try and turn it around. And ditto Randy Orton wanting to come in here so he can teach Montez Ford a lesson. And he beats him to the, uh, the punch slash kick there. And now, what's this? They look at each other. Double powerbomb? Oh, my God. And I thought Ford and Belair were the ones who were going to be sync in sync. Two. Oh, Montez Ford kicks out. Keeps his wife in the hunt for this birthday championship. Couple of right hands there. Oh, backbreaker and a clothesline to the back of the head. And now going up onto the middle rope. We don't see this from Martin a whole lot, leaving the uh, the canvas. Double axe handle. And now look at this. The ground and pound from Martin. Really capitalizing on having Montez Ford isolated. One. Two. No. Ford kicks out. But this is a prime... Ca oh, no. Belair is back on the apron. And now... Uh, Eos guy gets tagged back in. I was about to say... Oh, spear by Belair. I was about to say that was a prime opportunity for Martin to try and put away Montez Ford. While Belair couldn't do anything about it. But nope. Back in the match now. And she's uh, actually getting the upper hand somewhat against Eel Sky at the moment. Short arm shoulder tackle there. Goes for the pin. 
Oh, only a one count though. Ooh, that shook up Belair a little bit. She wasn't happy with that. She's taken a couple of near falls in this match. Eos guy is still kicking out at one. That's got to be a bad sign. Snap suplex by Bianca Belair. But she has faced adversity many times in her career and tough opponents and what have you. Oh, and she was going for the tag there, and Eos Guy said, ah, uh ah, -uh, none of that, off the ropes. And a flapjack. But yeah, Bianca Belair has faced some tough challenges, like, to her title aspirations in WWE, and she's overcome pretty much all of them, to be honest. Maybe not at the first attempt, but eventually. But anyway, the men are back in. And Orton's got Ford up on the shoulder, drops him into a neck breaker. And now right next to Bianca Belair is going to drape Montez Ford off that middle rope. And this is what Michael Cole would Michael Cole would call vintage Randy Orton. If I hadn't botched that line, I'd have got the timing right. <laughs> Michael Cole. Michael Cole would call that. Orton, once again, going high risk. With a big elbow drop and it did not pay off. Orton, stick to what you know, my dude. It's a bit... A bit late to be teaching this old dog some new tricks, not going to lie. Uppercut by Arton. He doesn't seem to be suffering too much. Oh, the kip up from Ford, though. He's running after Arton, and Arton was already set on tagging out. And once again, Eo Sky gets the upper hand immediately from the tag. That's been the pattern most times. Oh, when the women have tagged in. German suplex really released Bianca right across the ring there. Going after the knee. Take out that strength base of... Bianca Belair. She's also got some athleticism. Makes things like the 450 splash, the standing moonsault, etc. a lot more difficult to do as well as the impressive feats of strength. Oh, and that makes anything hard to do. Just getting dropped to the forearm. But here comes Montez Ford. He saw the tag coming and he's in first. And he's... I think Orton may have gone for an RKO there, but Ford managed to float over and hit the DDT. Oh, back elbow by Orton. Right hand. And a Russian leg sweep. That's what Randy Orton is so good at. You don't need to be adding the high wrist stuff to your arsenal at this stage, Orton. Just there. Oh, the basics, the fundamentals. There's the punt kick, which uh, got him the win in his first defense. Spoilers. But uh, Bianca Belair there to break it up. I don't think Montez Ford was kicking out of that. Absolutely no way. But Bianca keeping her title aspirations alive. Now what's Eos Guy got in mind for Bianca Belair here? Montez Ford is in trouble after that pump kick on the outside. Belair is all on her own at the moment. What is Eos Guy doing here? A Spanish fly off the top. Oh my god. Pinner. That's it. Pinner. Get the pin on the... Uh, Raw Women's Champion. Uh-oh, Eel Sky going up top. Oh, she wants to hit the uh, Moonsault. Beautifully hit, as always. One, two. Bianca kicked out. Oh, that's not good for Eel Sky. That's a morale hit. And Bianca firing up. Gets straight back to her feet. Oh, my God. Montez Ford getting up to his feet on the outside now. And uh, that... That momentary opportunity for Orton and Sky may have just passed them by. Nice how he can run by EO though. And now as Bianca rolls out, the men are tagged in. Oh, there's that neck breaker into the, uh, or back breaker I guess, into the uh, clothesline to the back of the head combo again from Orton. Now going after the knee of Montez Ford, the quicker man. Undoubtedly, that's no disrespect to Orton. Orton is very sudden, especially when producing an RKO from out of nowhere. But Montez Ford is on a different level for speed. Belly to back suplex by Bianca Belair to Eel Sky. It's been quite the back and forth match. Shot on shoulder tackle by Belair. Goes to the pin on Eo. One, two. Orton knew Sky would kick out of that, or at least he hoped so. He had faith. Now Bianca up to the middle rope. Cross body block. Wipes out Eel Sky completely. Now, uh-oh, thinking KOD. There it is, it connects. Now, 
Will Autumn trust the Hills guy to kick out of a KOD? Surely not. But he's not moving. And she does kick out. Wow, the faith shown by Randy Orton. He could have lost his birthday championship there. But now, Be Belair has kicked out of the Moonsault. Sky has kicked out of the KOD. Oh my god, Bianca did not get all of that, but she got enough to take out EO Sky. But she hit hard as well. Standing frog splash by Bianca Belair. And Orton can just simply watch on. However, if this goes to a double count out, champion's advantage dictates Orton retains. I'm not sure what the ruling would be if EO Sky were to get counted out here, because she doesn't have champion's advantage. But her partner, Randy Orton, does. I don't know. Let me, in the co let me know in the comments what you think should happen in that scenario. And hopefully it doesn't happen because I really don't know what to do in that situation. And whoops, I think I count a seven here after that uh, bow and arrow lock. Eosky not taking the chance and both women back into the ring. Eosky was in first though and she's uh, gained the upper hand by beating Bianca Belair into the ring. Oh, double underhook backbreaker there. And Bella in trouble now. One, two. Oh, she kicks out, though. Neil Sky really running out of ideas now. You can see a little bit of uh, panic in her body language. Now, Bella fighting back. Elbows to the midsection. Right hand or right forearm blocked. So fires one back, does Neil Sky. Uh-oh. Going for it again? Quite possibly. And she hits it again. Now let's see who we've got in mind here. Is she going to tag out? She's going to tag out. I think she's... This could be problematic for her Raw Women's Championship opportunity. She might be feeling a bit like she's run out of ideas. RKO to Montez Ford. Bianca Belair just leaving the ring now. One. Two. Oh, Belair. You, you might have just caught her leg on the edge of the uh, frame there. She broke that up. She just got the stomp in to break up the pin. And the match continues. She saved her husband, but also, more importantly, well, maybe she'd disagree on more importantly, but for the purposes of this series, more importantly, she saved her title opportunity. Uh-oh. Glam slam by Bianca Belair. Now, she wins the title here, having saved it. No Arton in to break it up. Uh-oh. Going for another KOD. I don't think EO Sky can kick out of a second KOD. Surely not. Surely this is the end of the match. Hooks the leg. One. Two. Montez Ford is in guarding. And Orton didn't bother. He just climbed into the ring. And Bianca Belair, the new birthday champion to go with her Raw Women's Championship. Wow. What a victory. And still no one has retained this title twice. Let's see if Bianca can become the first. But first, she's going to get her first defense in. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video uh, in this match. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Let me know in the comments what you would have ruled if EO Sky would have got counted out in this match. I'm just curious what people think of that. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.